too kind. Oh. And the big game tomorrow as UCSB men's soccer will try to uh, get some payback versus Cal State uh, Northridge. They come to Harder Stadium last Sunday. It was a uh, a uh, different case. It was down at Northridge, and, uh, and it was the only loss for UCSB in conference play this year. They're going to try to bounce back. And our student athlete session is now. It's brought to you by the Hampton Inn, the Gaucho Home Away from Home. And today we're with uh, Michael Boxall, starting defender for the fourth ranked UCSB Gauchos. You alluded to the fact that uh, maybe a lackluster game down at mm -hmm. uh, Northridge. Northridge comes in tomorrow. Uh, was there immediately after that Northridge game? You guys knew the schedule. Do you know you were going to see him? Real soon. Yeah. If well, if we didn't, Leo and Tim like <laughs> told us right away. So, yeah, we that's been on our minds. Like, obviously, we take one game at a time, but kind of looked past Fullerton a little bit. To we really want to deal with the Northridge tomorrow night. So, yeah, that's been on our minds ever since ever since that Sunday afternoon. That this is a two-part question from Andrew in San Francisco, and uh, he first off has some kudos. First off, great job this season in building a soccer powerhouse. Uh, the question, can you comment on the tortilla controversy, that's in quotes, in regards to the Big West officials and some opposing coaches have to say about this gaucho tradition? And for fans who don't know, the gauchos get a goal and out comes the, uh, out comes the flour or corn. Well, the, the, you know, the controversy, I think, happened when, uh, you know, obviously we had a very, very large crowd against Indiana. Yes. And the right fullback, who I'm a little bit surprised as a kid that uh, has been part of the U.S. national team program, so he has certainly played in unusual places like in El Salvador or, you know, Costa Rica, where they're certainly not going to treat, or Mexico City. So it was very surprising uh, that this person – basically took some of the tortillas that were fl thrown before the game and saw him do it you know and basically did some things with the tortilla and bad idea it was a bad idea <laughs> and he did it right in front of the fans and of course that just brought the wrath of the entire student section which of course is sitting there so what, what prompted obviously every time he touched the ball or every time something happened every time he went to throw a ball uh the tortillas instead of being thrown in you know celebration got thrown directed at him and of course the uh League office uh, had a problem with it because it was on national TV. Um, the referees, you know, the simple ruling on it is it's really up to the referees. There's nothing in the rule book says you can't throw things that, you know, you're, you're not allowed to disrupt the game. Right. Um, and uh, it was fascinating because actually it, there was a, a goal scored in the English Premier League where a ball hit a balloon. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in that ruling, the goal actually should have been disallowed because that was on the field. It was affecting the play. Uh, so far, tortillas um, haven't really affected the play. Um, we don't want them directed at anyone, so we have asked, obviously, our students, and they've been great about it. Uh, we want to celebrate our goals. We want to throw the things up in the air. Um, but I, I've heard different people now. Obviously, we have some being painted. Uh, they, you know, they're spending time to paint them, and now they're trying to see where they can. So it's, it's all been fun. It's been great, and uh, it's certainly a tradition that we are – uh, I'd like to continue. Now, tell us about the, the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation, the MPSF. Uh, for fans who aren't familiar, it's, uh, it's made of a lot of Pac-10 teams and Big West teams and uh, teams that sponsor water polo. Uh, and, I mean, it's the best in the country. There's no doubt, is there? Yeah, the NC2A champion every year comes from our, from our conference, sort of like volleyball, um, where California dominated, and, and this is the dominant um, conference in california so every year you've got a brutal conference schedule and no easy games for fans uh for fans who maybe have never been to a water polo match what what would be your sales pitch on hey get out to campus pool and see us i mean what when you watch water polo i mean i would think it's so uh frenetic and so fun how much action happens yeah tons of action lots of goals being scored a um, lot of physicality so a lot of roughing up in there and uh guys going after it um, and, you know, you get some beautiful goals as well. Now, you know, if you go to UCSBGauchos.com, you can catch Talking Gauchos on the YouTube uh, channel that's uh, linked up there. And Absolutely. It's right on the we top, got our, we got top our, link. We got our co-host, Ole. <laughs> <laughs> He's... And also, he's uh, my favorite kind of co-host. He's just quiet. He's just quiet. Yeah. Quiet. So that's what what you need to do is just talk more. <laughs> that's what everyone loves. Um, also, uh, a new feature you mentioned the YouTube page is uh, Twigs this week in Gaucho Sports. And this week uh, will come out every Wednesday. It's a short video recap of last week and then looking ahead to this week. So catch that on our YouTube page. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. <laughs>